Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie. I'm an unprofessional nail artist and a streamer over on Twitch. And today we're gonna talk about my streaming setup, in particular my hardware. This is actually the first video in a multi-part video series about all of the stuff that I use to stream and make videos, uh, make them look good, and most importantly, make it so people can actually see what I'm doing on my hands. This setup is mostly for nail art, but I do a lot of crafting on Twitch as well. So if you're looking for a solution to just showing what you are doing on a table in front of you, this is the video for you. So stay tuned, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's go look at my crap. All right, everybody, welcome to my recording space uh, from the back now. So uh, this is what it looks like if you're looking at me uh, from the outside. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I work with over here. Um, so I guess first we'll start talking about lighting. I think lighting is uh, arguably the most important thing besides just like having a camera uh, being able to be seen. So I have several sources of lighting that I use every stream. I've played around with this a bit, but I think that the best thing that I have for stream lighting is first off, I use like my ceiling lamp because I just need some fill light, just some stuff to fill up the space so everybody can see, especially on my hands. My face can have kind of mood lighting, but I really need kind of the most light possible so everybody can see what's actually happening on my hands. Uh, I also use, this is an old, old light. I was actually inspired by Christine because she made a video about how to take pictures of your nails and make videos of your nails like back in the day. And she just had like two lamps that she might even still use. The last time I saw her talk about her uh, whole deal, she was still using those two broken lamps. So this is like a floor lamp that I've had forever and it has this little reading lamp. And uh, the thing up here, the lamp up here is just really bright and really fills the room. So I tend to have that on. Um, I don't keep my windows open. My windows stay closed with blackout curtains, but they're all pulled away. So they're not exactly blocking anything out. Uh, and then I always have this little light on. I used to block it out on my face. Now I don't mind it as much. I used to kind of want my face to be darker. I don't really know why, but I did. Um, also, by the way, it's kind of cramped in here because I've got this couch, which I love this couch, but this couch is just like in my way. Um, I have two screens here on this one mount. It's good to have two screens when you're streaming, uh, just because there's a lot of stuff going on. So you just want to have a little more room. Um, the most directed light that I have are these Dazny D50s. I believe these are key light clones. Um, I actually got them as a gift from a friend's husband. And I really like these because for one thing, you can adjust how bright they are, but you can also adjust the temperature of the lighting. So yeah, you see that's like a lot warmer. I like to have my lighting as cool as I possibly can have it because I find that it shows off the colors in a more neutral way. And, you know, I'm not really looking for like a tavern kind of look. For me personally, you can tell my aesthetic is very like kind of like cold 90s girl. <laughs> um, so I want I want everything to kind of be a cool tone. That's just a personal thing for me. But I also do feel like it just gives me a more neutral view of the nail polish I'm using. And at the end of the day, it's really important for my audience to see the color of the nail polish I'm using. So uh, we're gonna move around the front. I have two of these Dazneys, and I really love these Dazneys, and I'll tell you why. The biggest thing I like about them, let me sit in my chair, is that they are flat like this, and so for the one on my hands, this illuminates the space beneath me, but it doesn't illuminate my face. So I don't have like a weird shadow like coming up on my face. So that's really nice for me. So that's my basic lighting rig. I also have these um, black lights that I will put in the description a link. These are just really, really nice black lights. I can turn off some lights right now and we can turn these on. One of these days I'm gonna get a kill switch for all of my lighting. 
But yeah, these are great for showing off different um, black light reactive polishes. This is a polish that I got from PBE called Ruby Lee Electric Lady, and I love it. Somebody gave that to me, actually, in a swag bag. So there's that. Uh, like I said before, here are my two screens that I use, um, and I find it very good to have two screens. And I really like putting stuff on mounts that clamp onto the desk or sit on the floor because then I have so much more space for activities. Uh, over here is our uh, famous <laughs> nail polish vibrator. We love it. Um, let me show you the camera I use. This is kind of the pride of my collection. This is my Razer Keo Pro Ultra 4K HD. Um, this is like the best webcam you can get. If you're going for webcams and not like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, which you can use with some difficulty. I used to use a DSLR. Um, if you don't know what one is, I wouldn't bother with it. I would just get one of these because uh, they're, they're very expensive and they're very heavy and this will do what you want to. If you aren't going for this one, I have a webcam that I actually do recommend. I'm not sure if this is actually exactly the one, but it looks like this. It's a Logitech C920 and it's, it's really as good as you can get before you go here. Like this camera is incredible. It shows people in the dark. It shows people in the light. I'll have a little example of it. Hey, editing Stephanie here. So this is the Razer Keo Pro Ultra with absolutely no extra lights on. Okay, I have like my rope light around my ceiling on. But other than that, I just have the mood lighting behind me and the rope light, which is also mood lighting and literally no other light sources. And this is how I look with like no lighting. This is the next step. That's as good as you're going to get until you get to the next step. But uh, webcams are are cheap and and good nowadays. So like, honestly, just kind of look around, figure out your budget and what's important to you. This one was about $400. Um, but for me, it was absolutely worth it for you. It might not be. And the Logitech is $69. So if you're just getting into this hobby, um, then I would say go, go with the other one. Cause also um, you're going to want more webcams if you continue with this hobby um, and if you continue streaming and making YouTube videos. Uh, there's always uses for different webcams if you want to have somebody else in your stream who's in the same space. It's really hard to get two people into one area. Also, if you're a nail streamer, clearly you're going to want to have something overhead. Now, speaking of the overhead view, let me show you my other pride and joy here. This is a glide gear mount. Um, I don't remember exactly what uh, the model is, but I will put it in the description. And this thing is fantastic. So it sits on my desk and it's got all these places where I can mount my camera. I can also mount other things to it. Uh, and before that, I was just using one of these little arms like this. And these are fine. These are fine. Um, but my cameras that I was using, it's also covered in shepherd hair. So sorry about that. This is my life. Um, <laughs> I'm a nail artist, so I need my cat hair in order to survive. I used to have it on an arm like this. And my big problem was it would be shaky. And also for a while, I was using a big camera, a DSLR, and these just are not powerful enough to hold those. So um, I asked my mom for this for Christmas and I got it and I'm very grateful. Thank you, mom. And on it is actually a camcorder I've had for a long time. In order to use a camcorder with your computer, you will probably need a capture card. I use a really cheap one. Unless you're doing like close up talking head style videos, you can get away with a pretty cheap capture card off Amazon, but they can get up to like $200. So if you're just starting out, honestly, I would just go with a cheaper one until you can't use it anymore. Um, the camera that I have is a Panasonic uh, HC V750. And what I really like about using a camcorder as opposed to a webcam for my top down view is that I can just manually uh, pan in and out, zoom. Yes, zoom, I can manually zoom 
in and out. And I really, really like that. If I keep it plugged in, I don't need to worry about the battery. Um, it works really nice. I might eventually go to one of these for my top down view. It certainly would be a better quality of image. However, having that pan button is honestly extremely, extremely useful. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. I really like it the way it is. There's a few other things that I can show you. Here is my microphone. Right now I have a blue snowball. It's really old. It is really embarrassingly covered in cat hair. Just, Shepard really loves rubbing up against this. And then I just kind of never take the time. Maybe I'll do it right now. Maybe I'll do it right now. It isn't even working. All right, this is my blue snowball. I use one of these like foam covers on it. I really recommend having one of these as a pop filter to filter your puh and your buh, your like, you know, your plosive noises. Um, also, it stops some of the like pickup of breathing and background noise and extra noise. You can also get pop filters like this and a lot of people use both of these. I'm currently not using my pop filter like this just because it really gets in my face and all over the place while I'm streaming. And uh, my sound quality is pretty good. Uh, a lot of sound quality is actually more about processing than the actual microphone you're picking yourself up on. But of course, a good microphone uh, is going to make you sound a lot better. This isn't the best microphone. Um, one thing I like about it is that it's very good at picking up like ambient noise around the room. And since I don't like wearing a microphone on my face, it's really good for me because if I move around, it doesn't have a hard time picking me up anywhere in the room. But for some people, the background noise and, you know, the sounds of their house and their environment They'd want something a little more directed. Uh, I don't mind. I actually even use the ambient noise pickup setting when I podcast, which is probably a bad idea, but I do it. And if you listen to my podcast, it sounds okay. Don't ask me what's going on in my computer. It is good enough that it works for me. I don't know what else. <laughs> I don't really know what's in there. My husband helped me build it. Um, but yeah, that, that's my beauty. Um, she, she run good. The last thing I recommend if you are going to be doing nail art or any sort of IRL crafting art kind of stuff, you definitely need a mouse and keyboard. I prefer having a wireless mouse and keyboard. It's just easier because then if say I'm editing my podcast or something or doing bingo, I can put the stuff up here. And then when I'm not doing that, I could put the stuff down here. These little rolly trays are going to be your lifeline. They're incredible. I could not function without one of these. I used to function without one of these and I cannot. And also if you're doing nail art, this should probably go without saying. And if you're doing anything that involves any sort of liquids or things that can get in your keyboard, uh, maybe don't get the most expensive keyboard. This one's cute as hell, uh, but it was not very expensive. So yeah, just uh, watch out for your stuff because I've always got stuff all over this and I'm always worried that I'm going to spill on something and it's going to break. And so far it hasn't happened, but better safe than sorry I ate the last waffle. And I think that that's just about everything when it comes to my hardware. You know, I've got a lot of these like pole mounts that I use. You can just kind of search those on Amazon. They're not hard to find. Uh, these Dazzany lights come with them. And um, yeah, just, just mount things so that you have more space on your desk. If you want to be pro, get yourself a Razer Keo Pro Ultra. It is just the best of the best. And that's my hardware. And there you go. That was my crap. We have looked at it now. Um, I hope you found this video educational. If you want to find any of the items that I listed today, I'm going to try to list them in the video description and link to them. Those aren't going to be affiliate links. I don't have affiliation with Amazon or anything. Uh, so click on them or don't. It's your life. Do what you want. 
Um, but yeah, uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions or comments or anything. Uh, of course, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. It would mean like more than you even know. And also, if you would like to chat with me anytime sooner than the next time I log on to my YouTube, you can come visit me um, on Twitch. I stream, actually. Would you believe it? I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And also, I have a podcast with my friend, Danny Shout. It's called Two Lacquered Ladies, and it's available wherever podcasts are sold. And by sold, I mean given away for free. So uh, check that out. Check me out. Have a fantastic day and uh, stay lockered or something. Bye.